CFC stands for chlorofluorocarbon, and these are compounds that contain the elements chlorine, fluorine, and carbon. HCSC stands for hydrochlorofluorocarbon, and these are compounds that contain the elements hydrogen, chlorine, fluorine, and carbon. HFC stands for hydrofluorocarbon, and these are compounds that contain the elements hydrogen, fluorine, and carbon. And PFC stands for perfluorocarbon, and these are compounds that contain only the elements fluorine and carbon. CFCs can only be broken down in the stratosphere by very strong UV radiation, and therefore they have very long atmospheric lifetimes on the order of decades to centuries. HCFCs contain a hydrogen and can therefore be broken down in the troposphere by the hydroxyl radical and therefore they have shorter atmospheric lifetimes on the order of decades. HFCs have very variable atmospheric lifetimes of anywhere from less than two years to hundreds of years. And PFCs are very difficult to break down in the atmosphere, and so they have very long atmospheric lifetimes on the order of thousands of years. CFCs, when they are broken down in the stratosphere, form chlorine-free radicals, which act as catalysts for the destruction of the ozone layer, and therefore they cause a very large amount of ozone depletion. HCFCs contain a chlorine and can therefore contribute to ozone depletion. However, they also contain a hydrogen, which means they are mostly broken down in the troposphere, and so a very small amount make it into the stratosphere, and therefore they only cause a small amount of ozone depletion. HFCs and PFCs do not contain chlorine, and therefore do not contribute to ozone depletion.